Hi everyone, and welcome back to our holiday gift planning guide. Today, I'm gonna to show you a really easy gift, cookies in a jar. Now, the first step is to gather our materials. You'll need one and a quarter cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, a whole bunch of chocolate chips, I used about half the package, and a whole bunch of mini marshmallows. You'll also need a spoon, a pen and paper, and of course, a jar. Now before we assemble our jar, we're gonna need to take our baking soda and salt and stir it into our flour mixture. This will just help make sure that everything gets a little more incorporated once we go to actually bake the cookies. Now we're gonna layer all of our ingredients into the jar. So I'm gonna carefully spoon in my flour. Then on top of the flour, we're gonna put the brown sugar, then the white sugar, and then the chocolate chips. Now that I have all my layers in, I get to use this top part for some fun stuff. Now the recipe that I sent you guys is for s'mores cookies. So we're gonna fill it up with mini marshmallows. But if you wanna be creative, you can put any of your favorite cookie mix-ins in there instead. I know I have a recipe that uses cornflakes or peanut butter chips or even sprinkles. You can do whatever you want. Once we fill everything up, we're gonna put the lid on tight and put it aside while we finish the gift. Now the next step is to write the recipe card. Now I've already written mine out and I've included these directions in the description of the video. You can print them off if you want, but I always think that gifts look really nice when they have handwritten cards. So just get a piece of paper and write out the simple directions. Once you have that written, you can use whatever you have at home to add it to the jar maybe add a bow or some string or something nice to make it feel like a present. I'm gonna add a bow in the corner with my ribbon and tie it around the jar. Now, if you're tempted to eat your cookies as you're making this gift, then this next part is for you. It's completely optional, but if I were you, I would bake a double batch of these cookies while I'm putting the gift together. That way I can eat half of them myself and give half to my friend as ready baked cookies. Then they'll have cookies for now and cookies for later. I'm gonna take my empty chip container, wrap it with some wrapping paper, and it becomes a perfect jar to put my cookies in. Nice and simple. And here is your completed gift. Freshly baked cookies that you can put in the jar that you created and a batch of cookies for next time. I hope you guys had fun and we'll see you Thursday for the next video.